Hello, Ilian here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Mesh Central support for login tokens. So sometimes it's useful to have separate credentials than the ones you typically use on a web service to allow tools like Mesh Central uh, Router or automation tools, script other services to access your account, but you want those credentials to be uh, used only for them and you want to be able to revoke them at any time. So let's take a look at how Mesh Central supports that. So I'm going to be using my trusty developer uh, installation of Mesh Central here. I'm going to click on my account and there's going to be a link called create login token and I can create a token with a name. So for example, uh, automation server and you can select how much time that token is valid for. Typically you would put it unlimited and you would revoke it when you need to, but in this case we'll just put four hours and say okay. So now it created this new token, you see it there and the uh, and Mesh Central is giving us the username and password for that token. Now the username and password, the username, uh, you'll see it at the bottom here anytime you want. The password, once you click OK here, the password is gone forever. So it's not kept in the database of Mesh Central. Mesh Central computes the uh, hash of this password, actually 12,000 rounds of SHA-384 hashing with assault and that is kept in the database. So Mesh Central can verify that you have that password, but it cannot retrieve it once uh, you uh, make it go away here. So I'm going to open Notepad and I'm going to click these trusty little copy buttons to copy the username and password. I'm going to click OK and I'm good. So what I'm going to do is open a second, I'm going to open a uh, Chrome browser and I am going to log into the account using this username and password. Now let's see what happens. So first of all, you'll see that on the upper right, it also says welcome admin. So it looks just like I logged in as myself. You can also click and remote control to all the computers you want. And you'll notice that the two-factor authentication prompts didn't show up. So when you use login token, there's no login tokens, there's no two-factor authentication being done. Now, one big difference though is in the My Account tab, you'll see that all the, the account settings are gone. So you can't change any of the settings like the image and account security, 2FA, delete the account, all this stuff, that's gone. It's not just removed on the web page, the server will also refuse any such operations when using a login token. So this is perfect because the automation script can come in, do operations on remote devices, but cannot alter the account you know, settings, your password or things like that. So they can't take over your account. Now another thing that's fun is that I can at any time revoke this token. So, you know, this session is logged in as me, but it's really logged in through this login token. I'll click the garbage can on the right, say OK, and as soon as that happens, the session that was using the login token gets kicked out, and you'll notice we're back to the prompt here. So I can obviously create another uh, login token if I want. Uh, another thing I want to mention is that you can click on view previous logins and it will show you the previous logins that you made in a certain color and then previous logins that the t login tokens have made with the login token name. So if you have multiple login tokens for different automation servers or different tools and you want to go and audit, you can see the difference between your logins and the logins that were due to uh, those tokens. So another benefit of this is that if you're using Mesh Central and you're using it on a, um, um, on a portal that uses single sign-on. So every time you log into Mesh Central, instead of, use, of using the uh, login page that Mesh Central offers, the default one, you are uh, sent to a single sign-on for some corporate you know, uh, sign-on page. Then when you come back, uh, you are logged into Mesh Central, but you have no credentials to use if you want to use, for example, um, Mesh Central Router or Mesh Command or Mesh Control. So, and a quick demonstration here of Mesh Control. 
this normally you would um, you would type let's see here I'm going to go to the right folder and you type node uh, sorry cd change directory node mesh control.js so this tool that allows you to do a whole bunch of different automation tasks on Mesh Central, if you're using a single sign-on portal, you don't have the login username and password needed to log this tool in. Well, with the login token, you can do that. So I hope that was clear. This was a quick understanding, or a quick overview of Mesh Central's use of and support of login tokens. Thank you very much.